Greetings. Thank you for spending some of your time with me. I am just at a, I guess you would call it a lodge in the Poconos. It is in the Poconos, and I guess you would call it a lodge. And I just thought I would show it a bit. It is a humid, dewy morning. I just had a few provisions. I am a coffee girl. I like my coffee. And I have to say, <laughs> not having a good cup of coffee in the morning is different but it makes me appreciate my good cup of coffee I have when I'm at home. But that said, when you're surrounded by the mountains, coffee, coffee should be uh, not the first thing on your mind. But as humans, we tend to get very set in our ways sometimes. And as well, Coffee is like a spiritual journey for me. Yes, it is. I will admit it. From grinding the beans to the smell, to the first sip, to when it just gets the perfect temperature. And then you're like, oh, yes, that's just the right temperature of coffee. Hmm. Also provides uh, actually some, some type of... Uh, feeling that nature provides for me. It gives me a happiness and a joy. So I just, oh, it's beautiful sounding, isn't it? It's a beautiful sky over there. I see a little bit of pink and then it's like a center spot and then the center floods out into wispiness. I don't have long pants on and I'm not sure. Yes, there are some little bugs flying around me. So I'm not going to venture out too far now just because I don't want to get bit and I don't even know I may not. But it's always better to be safe than sorry. It's a nice sky. You know, the sky doesn't have to be blue for it to be enjoyable. I am walking backwards, one of my many talents. Well, on this day, May you experience something that gives you a perkiness and a happiness. And that is from me to you. <laughs>